Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to part one of a two-part spa series that I'm gonna be doing on my channel, making all sorts of fun DIYs to upgrade your shower and your bath time to a little mini spa experience, which I love to do these types of videos on my channel. It's always been a dream of mine to own a spa one day, although I don't know if that'll ever happen. I get to kind of fulfill it a little bit on this channel. If you feel relaxed or wanna pamper yourself after one of my videos, that's what this channel is all about. So we're starting with lavender lemonade. This recipe is great for if you're having guests over, if you're gonna be hosting a party, or if you just wanna make some for yourself. I'm starting with a simple syrup. Basically all I have is coconut sugar. You can use traditional sugar, but I prefer coconut and lavender. I will have the measurements listed in the description below so you can find those there. I'm basically creating a lavender infused simple syrup. This will last for a few weeks so you can cover it and keep it in the refrigerator and make lots of batches. Then I'm cutting up four lemons for the amount that I'm making here and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the juice of those lemons into a pitcher. So I love the lavender simple syrup and lemons and water just by itself. I think that that is a really great lemonade recipe, but you also have the option of adding coconut water and that will make it a coconut lavender lemonade, which is also really delicious. Very refreshing in the summer months. And if you're gonna have an at-home spa day, I would highly recommend making it for yourself if you're having a spa party or any type of party. If it's a baby shower or a bridal shower, this is really refreshing and a really good beverage. So I would highly recommend making it. Now since I used coconut sugar instead of traditional granulated sugar, my mixture, my simple syrup is a lot darker. Um, so it's a very, it almost looks like a tea. The option that you could do is add food coloring, some violet food coloring or natural food coloring, and it'll really look like a lavender lemonade. But if you want to avoid food colorings and you don't like that idea, which I would say on a regular basis it's not necessary, maybe for a party it might be fun. But you can either make yourself a cup of tea or pour yourself some lavender lemonade before you jump in the shower. Next, we're making some invigorating shower melts. These are really great, they're like bath bombs, but for the shower. It's basically just cornstarch and Vicks Vapor Rub mixed together. And then you're gonna add some water, slowly mix it together, and you're gonna put it in ice cube trays and freeze it. Every time you wanna take a upgraded shower or make your shower feel like a spa, just throw one of these melts at the bottom of your shower and it's gonna release a beautiful scent into the steam and make it feel like a spa. Have a flexible ice cube tray that I'm putting these in. It makes it a little bit easier to remove once they've had a chance to freeze. So I'm sticking it in the freezer overnight and then you can pop them out of the ice cube tray, put them in a Ziploc bag and use them anytime you're feeling like having an upgraded shower or even if you're not feeling good, these are great for if you're sick or if someone in your family is sick. So um, they last a really long time and they're a really great recipe. So try them out and let me know what you think. Next, we're gonna make a blend of herbs for an herbal facial steam. So I have an apothecary container. I'm adding some lavender, chamomile, and rosebuds. This is a great gift, so if you're going to use it as a gift, I would definitely recommend putting a label on it and putting a pretty bow and giving it as a gift. I remember the first time I experimented with herbal facial steams, they started selling them at Bath & Body Works when I was really young, and I bought it, and that's when I got into facial steams. Facial steams are often used at spas before a mask is applied to the skin. You can make an at-home facial steam really easy with dried herbs like these mixed together and a bowl of boiling hot water and you just put your face right above it. For more of a steaming effect, you can put a towel over your head and it's gonna prep your skin for a mask. So next we're gonna be making some rose water to make a rose water spray that we can spritz on our skin or our body. It's very refreshing. All you need is some red rose petals. I'm picking those fresh off of these roses and I'm adding that to a small saucepan. And then I'm gonna add some water, bring it to a boil and then allow it to simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until it becomes pink. It is the most beautiful color and it's going to absorb all the color into the water from the petals and the petals will start to become more pale, less red and turn very like almost pinkish purple. So it's really pretty to watch. 
So rose water can be used for a lot of DIYs and I'm actually gonna be saving the rest of this. It's a concentrate. I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna make a um, gel out of it for the next video that's going up on Monday. Um, so I'm gonna keep a little bit of this. So basically I'm gonna strain it into one of these containers. I'm gonna seal it and stick it in the refrigerator. Next, I have a glass container. It's filled with distilled water with just a little bit of space for this rose water concentrate. And then it makes a really great facial or body spray. So you can also keep it in the refrigerator for a nice cooling effect. Next, we're gonna make coconut mouth melts, which is basically oil pulling. So I have coconut oil and peppermint essential oil. I'm putting the coconut oil first in these little molds. These were the smallest I could find and you wanna find small ones so that the melts fit in your mouth. So hey, we have aliens and planets here. And then I'm adding the peppermint oil, one drop into each um, little mold. Then you're gonna stick that in the refrigerator so that the coconut oil has a chance to harden and it creates these melts that need to be kept in the refrigerator but when they are put in your mouth, the natural temperature of your body melts it and then you are left with oil and you're gonna swish that around in your mouth and it's basically a natural mouthwash. A lot of people believe oil pulling is much better than a traditional mouthwash. Um, so you want to pull them out and put them in a container, keep them in the refrigerator and one melt is enough to swish around in your mouth. So try out some of these DIYs and see how they work for you. Maybe you can incorporate them into your routine and it'll feel a little upgraded and special. So if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Check out my last two videos and check out my other channel. And I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.